Today, we are inside the mobile game Infinity Kingdom, and we have the rare opportunity of taking a look at a player's account who claims that it is worth over a hundred thousand US dollars what's going on guys cheers now if you're familiar with my youtube channel then you know that we like to play city builder games that are primarily on the mobile platform infinity kingdom is one that we've been playing a lot lately and honestly compared to other games in this genre i do feel that it's a little bit more free to play friendly but that doesn't mean that there aren't some players out there who love the game so much they're willing to spend a ton on it now players spending five or six figures on a game is not a new phenomenon and it's not even exclusive to infinity kingdom or other city builder games every once in a while you hear about players spending a crazy amount of money on their favorite games but it's not that common that you get to actually see the account of that player and see what they're spending their money on and today we're gonna do just that now a few weeks ago i made a video talking about the top 10 most powerful players in all of infinity kingdom and number two on that list was none other than jezstar now just out of curiosity i reached out to jezstar who also has his own youtube channel i will link it in the description below but i was curious to know if he would be willing to show off his account and answer some questions that i had for him about infinity kingdom and luckily he was down to do it so guys make sure you go over to his youtube channel and show him some love as thanks Thanks for letting me make this video. So the first thing that I wanted him to show us is what immortals he was investing in. What status is each immortal at? What level are they at? How many skill points do they have? What equipment is on these immortals? And I was blown away. So let's go ahead and take a look here. He starts off with Siegfried. This looks like his uh, number one here. It looks like it's ranked just by unit. So it's not ranked by power, but he's already maxed out Bjorn at level 41, which is impressive. We've got Himiko. We've got Elizabeth Bathory. You can see all of these immortals have golden gear. This is all beautiful looking stuff level eight for all of their skills we've got Monko, we've got theodora you can see that jezstar has maxed out some of the most important immortals in the game being shadow and holy immortals now from the looks of it it looks like he's prioritized his shadow immortals before his holy immortals because we see the shadow immortals are a little bit of a higher level we see they've got uh at least a boost level of 20 but we do see some of the uh some of the holy immortals over here have a higher boost level theodora is a boost level of 22 gilgamesh is a boost level of 22 and all of these immortals have an artifact on top of that which is just absolutely insane all the equipment is level 50. this stuff is actually incredible like this the, to have all of these immortals at this level is insane moving on you can see on the left that all of the immortals look like they have max skill at least level 40. at least level 40 for every single one of the immortals here the fire uh, immortals look like they are a little bit of a lower level so apparently he hasn't invested too much in them and then he just didn't really care too much about uh the purples and all that stuff the greens are all maxed out level 30 which is really funny um it looks like hammurabi is like the only one that he doesn't have at this point a lightning immortal that was i think um brand new maybe not even in the game at the time that he recorded this i don't remember exactly um, but you can see here the vip points are ridiculous absolutely insane he has almost sixty thousand of the 100 vip point tokens in here that's like six million vip points that's actually insane in the top corner you can see he has two hundred and sixty thousand gems millions of resources tons of resources here in the inventory as well let's go ahead and proceed yeah that's crazy that vip point right there that is absolutely nuts um let's see what he moves on to now he's got oh my god look at the equipment all of it is golden he's got a ton of the earth the water equipment oh my god dude oh my god this is actually insane this is actually insane um he's he he's he's got the perfect account this is like the perfect account the only stuff that he even cares about is this uh this epic uh, equipment which is just ridiculous now even somebody like Jezstar does have a couple of peace shields he's just got a couple just in case he doesn't want to have to destroy you okay a lot of these like eight hour gathering ones he doesn't even worry about probably because he just uh you know just he, he has so many bundles on the account that it doesn't even matter uh, the speed ups right now are looking pretty nasty these are looking quite ridiculous if i do say so myself he's got over eight thousand of just the one hour speed ups that's crazy that is absolutely crazy looks like he's used most of his building speed ups um 
so yeah there's a lot going on here they did implement i believe new levels of buildings around the time that this video was recorded so perhaps that's why he had used all of his uh all of his building speed ups already so yeah his castle is level 45 now we're going to take a look at the um the technology on his account here so we're going through this is his troop technology you can see everything is completely maxed out completely maxed out all this is perfection it looks like medical specialist is the first one that he hasn't maxed out yet quick relief is at nine he did max this out and he is just now working on uh some of these some of these newer um or, or i should say later down the line uh, troop technology which is it's just crazy he's maxed out all of this immortal tech everything is perfect until we get to um all the way down here with the with the shields which is just crazy uh and then he's got some of this uh much 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 later immortal tech to work on now so yeah you can see there that the cost for these uh the cost for these is just insane it's just insane the amount of millions and millions of resources um that they need for this stuff is just it's 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 crazy it's crazy moving on to the defense it looks like he has maxed out a lot of this stuff all this stuff looking completely maxed out until we get to uh the basically the the level uh six right the the level six stuff here is crazy um and he hasn't touched any of that stuff just yet and here we're at the production technology this stuff uh he hasn't even maxed out the earlier mining stuff he does not care that much about production it looks like because he's just going to be buying the bundles to get it you can see in the top left corner too that he actually has like every single boost and buff going on his account right now he just lives that way he just has all the boosts all the time which is just insane let's now take a look at some of these statistics here his highest power ever was 2.774 million with over 5,000 kills this is his uh building technology uh, his building power technology power troop power immortal power and you can see here that when it comes down to power of your in total account immortals and troops are the biggest ones like having tier five units and and, and insane immortals that's what makes you really powerful in this game not your max buildings and stuff like that this is total number of eliminated troops of other lords 147 million troops from other players that's actually insane these are his troop losses 23 million 16,000 gnomes defeated this is crazy stats right here this is craziness you can see here consecutive logins 343 so he has not missed a single day since he started playing infinity kingdom about a year ago at this point which is actually insane so huge shout out to Jezstar for his commitment to the game and I'm sure that that will be uh, apparent to you if you go out and go and check out his uh his YouTube channel now if we take a look in the other category of his account you can see just an absolute plethora of things that he needs to boost up immortals and a ton of different items from different events and stuff like that which is really cool you can see he's got a ton of dragon crystals oh my god those random teleports it's crazy philosopher's stone offering some of these things he just hasn't even he just hasn't even opened them yet he doesn't even he doesn't even need to open them right like his account is so beautiful it's so perfect uh that he doesn't even need some of this stuff at this point it's like they're random ones so there's no point in really holding on to it but he still hasn't even opened it yet because it doesn't even matter that's crazy man it's actually crazy like he could he could open these uh and just get free soul crystals but it just does it he doesn't have to like it's, he doesn't even need to it's actually crazy like this he can open this to get speed ups but he doesn't why would he need them who cares <laughs> I love it that's so funny look he could open this to get a random immortal but he doesn't even need them that's just that's a huge flex it's a huge flex to just not even need this stuff like it's amazing I absolutely love it um so shout out to Jezstar for this um we're taking a look at his troop management here it looks like um he is gathering mostly stone which is uh, a good indication for you guys if you're playing stone is one of the hardest uh you know resources to stay on top of because you just need so much of it here he's going to go through and we'll see uh the levels of all of his uh his dragons this is a maxed out wind dragon um really cool stuff all level 10 there and uh look at that oh my god that shadow dragon is so beautiful oh my god Melanthios that is just I I love to see it I love to see it we could take a look here at his arena ranking he is of course number one he is number one platinum three in his uh server here his battle report looks like it is just straight victories baby just straight victories you already know how he gets down throne of the supreme let's see he is ranked number one yet again in throne of the supreme tons of victories uh we love to see that it looks like he is just performing really well defense was defeated like once there it looks like so yeah really cool stuff there um I, I, he's just 
he is a dominant player like there's there is literally uh one player with more power than him but like it, it's just it's it's insane most players aren't even close to this guy uh and it makes sense because he he has spent a ton of money on this game which is really crazy let's take a look here he's got a few illusion battlefield uh wins there his contribution is absolutely through the roof tons of prosperity destroyed this is uh if you see Jezstar in, in, in illusion battlefields you're 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 in trouble okay he's gonna deal insane amounts of damage which is crazy and he's only an r4 in his alliance which is interesting so yeah performance um is incredible for Jezstar uh his 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 account is like pretty much perfect taking a look at the immortals that he has assigned in his castle um we can see the bonuses off on the right hand side so obviously these are some of his most powerful uh immortals that he has over here for the best bonuses he could possibly get which is insane this is what his arena team looks like so he leads with his holy march in case i'm assuming somebody attacks him with uh their primary march being shadow so you know his holy team deals tons of damage to their shadow team and then you know that's kind of how it goes so this looks like a, a pretty good strategy um i'm not super familiar with what the s tier meta players are doing in arena but i'm assuming that whatever just do is doing is probably uh the way you want to go now we're going to take a closer look at the dragons here it looks like they are uh all level 40 it looks like lucasta is currently upgrading to 41 which is great um melanthios is also level 40 um at, oh level 38 for the earth dragon um so looks like lightning is the one that he's uh oh yeah lightning he's invested in the least um fire being second so yeah i mean when you have pretty much you know the choice and, and this isn't to say that like fire and lightning aren't good but when you have the choice between the literal best of the best like you're just not going to invest in those things because it just doesn't really matter taking a look at his forge his inventory looks like everything here is perfect <laughs> everything here is uh level 15 um the top four here at least are at least uh the five five upgrades so yeah crazy stuff here forgotten poem deadly like i haven't even gotten to the end game point of where i'm considering these things and just has already like maxed them all out like it's actually insane it's insane and you can see here that the impact that these things have is uh pretty nuts once you like really get into the end game like you're getting a decent amount of stats here so yeah it looks like there's a couple of artifacts that uh he still has to forge but regardless um uh, you know I think if he doesn't have it then probably no other players do either now I want to take a look at his tower of knowledge and you can see here that a lot of these are just uh level eight they're just maxed out like they're just maxed out because what else is he going to do with all of the soul crystals that he gets right he already has like all the useful immortals uh maxed out like what what is he gonna do with them right so oh my god this is nasty it's nasty man it's nasty to see um how much he's invested in these and these are epics right these are epics and you know he's maxed pretty much all them out except for like berserker and a couple of these other ones that he's showing off right now um but a large uh, a large a vast majority of these are are uh are maxed out and it looks like here you know you need the ability stones to get these so this is a relatively new thing in the game um which is probably why he hasn't maxed them out yet again when he recorded this they had just added some of these new levels into the game so um these things aren't maxed out yet um but you know it, it, it is what it is he's gonna get there I'm sure he's gonna get there eventually now heading back over to my account it looks pretty uh pathetic in comparison this is obviously my revival of cities account so it's not even my most powerful or main account but I did actually ask Jezstar a couple of questions because I wanted to get some insight as to what he thinks about certain things in the game so I asked him what his favorite immortal was and he said without a doubt it was Himiko which is a relatively newer immortal that's in the game she came out a couple of months ago um he said her ability to pull into the void is one of a kind ability which makes her stand out and above the others what he's talking about here is her demon ambush basically this is dealing magical damage uh to all enemy units um, however if the number of targets is more than two the enormous amount of energy will rip open the space and pulls a back row unit with the highest troop number into the void while in the void enemies cannot attack or use spells nor be targeted by any normal attacks or spells for six seconds so it basically just takes the their most troop back row and just makes and just puts them off to the side for a couple of seconds it can't do anything you can't hit it uh and it just removes them for the battle temporarily which which is what he likes the most about himiko and why this is his favorite on immortal and i gotta say 
uh, when she first came out i said this her design is so good it's so good the shamanist queen oh my god she's beautiful and also absolutely terrifying at the same time i absolutely love it next i asked him what his favorite dragon was and he said each dragon has its unique style and features for example the true damage dealt by the fire dragon is by far the most amount of damage dealt but overall i would say shadow purely because the synergy it shares with immortals so this is the dragon you saw before melanthios this is uh overall his favorite dragon and it's no wonder right shadow is an insanely powerful attribute to build here in the game and you know having the dragon that synergizes with that is just you know you can't go wrong with him plus look at the design dude look at the design that's one of the things that infinity kingdom does so well is the game looks insane this is incredible and uh it's no wonder that this is his favorite dragon next i asked jestar what got him to download infinity kingdom in the first place you know it's i'm just curious because here he is now a year later and he spent an insane amount of money on the game and he said that his friend suggested it to him uh she had been playing the game for a couple of weeks she said how much she enjoyed playing it and thought that he would like it and here we are a full year has gone by my friend isn't playing anymore he says but he's still standing he's the type of person who doesn't like to leave things unfinished he says i'm way too competitive to start something and leave it without having dominated every aspect of it i've had this drive ever since i can remember i think it's one of the reasons i excelled in business he goes on to talk a little bit more about the game he says i have good faith in the infinity kingdom team we've had a close relationship for a while now and with good reason I think they appreciate my input and are always quick to analyze my suggestions. I hope I can continue to work with the Infinity Kingdom team and help them build a game that will stand the test of time. This is a good time to remind you guys that if you have suggestions for Infinity Kingdom and things that you want the developers to fix or change, you can share those suggestions on the official discord the link will be in the description he goes on to say i think clash of clans is a great example of a successful game which has gone beyond all expectations hopefully we can look back 10 years from now and say we had a good time i love that and i love that the infinity kingdom team is so uh you know open to feedback and suggestions and is in touch and in contact with players like jestar to get that feedback and he obviously you know he's he's he is what you would consider a well in a mobile game like this but you know when you invest so heavily into a game like this you want it to succeed no matter how much you spend you just want the game to be good and so i think if they're going to listen to anybody i, I think he is a good person for them to be in touch with so i love to hear that and then finally uh, i had to ask him about how much he spent okay i had to ask him about how much he spent and this is what i said i said i guess the last question i have and feel free not to answer if you don't want to is do you know how much your account is worth approximately like how much has been spent on it i think that would give new players a good general idea and i also told him that it would probably be pretty good clickbait for the title but he said plain and simply 100k plus he didn't say specifically and honestly when you start to spend that much on a mobile game you probably lose track he said i don't mind quote it's pocket change now of course i was shocked i was like damn dude that is actually insane so i had to ask further i said you know do you own some sort of big company or something like i'm just i, I gotta know right like it's it's fascinating to me that players will spend that much money on a video game and he said that he plain and simple and he didn't reveal much but he said i'm an entrepreneur i own several which several businesses so huge shout out to jezstar for letting us take a deeper look into his account uh and at the account of a player that you know it's just something that almost none of us will be able to achieve uh because a lot of us just don't have 100k sitting around to spend on a mobile game like i said before his youtube channel will be in the description i'll try to even remember to pin it in a comment absolutely go subscribe to him if you are interested in infinity kingdom of course if you made it to the end of this video i hope you'll drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other infinity kingdom players might see it if you're new around here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinity kingdom video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace